ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஹவு டு எக்ஸ்க்ளூட் தி அன்வான்டட் ஆர் சர்டன் டொமைன்ஸ் விச் வி ரியலி டு நாட் வாண்ட் வைல் வி எக்ஸிக்யூட் தி லோ டெஸ்ட் யூசிங் லோட் ரன்னர் so generally when we record a script we might see some domains which we get along with the recorded script something like a google analytics or a double click or our cd and providers domain so these urls which are getting recorded are not necessary and they are not required for our load testing so we will see what are the reasons behind excluding them and how to exclude them and keep only the required url for our script and for the load testing we'll do that step by step and also we'll see why we should exclude the unwanted urls in this video so please do watch the video till the end of so before we move on to the video this is me yavasant shanmugam Once again I welcome you all to Little Sla YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative videos. Like, comment your feedbacks and your questions, your challenges you're facing during your testing for any help and share it with your friends. So with no further delay, let's kick on our video. So first let's start by recording the script so this is the step number 1 so i'm recording a script so let me add a new script and we'll name it as exclude url little sla So this is going to be the name of the script and the protocol is web http html so now we are in the actions folder and i'm clicking on creating the script and the recording mode is going to be a web application so the browser is what we are going to use in the google chrome is the browser and this is going to be the url so whatever that we that comes only with the petstore.octopuff.com is going to be the url that we want to record and in case if you are recording for any of your application make sure that this is going to be your url and no any other url as i mentioned something like a google analytics or a double click those urls are not required and we can exclude them in our testing so let me start recording clicking on okay so So we have started our recording. And let's wait for the URL to get loaded the landing page. So here we have got the landing page. So let's now start our first transaction. So our first transaction is going to be 01 and click enter the store. clicking on okay and now let's click the link enter the store and let's wait for the loading to get over so still it's loading so we have to wait until all the images and every last bit of the page has got loaded so now we can see the loading has stopped so we have got all the data so now let's stop the first transaction and let's now go to the second transaction which is click sign in click okay and let's click the sign in button let me stop the sign in and let's enter the third transaction which is login to website so make sure you give the proper name for your transactions it should be more meaningful and understandable to 
those who ever use the application. So I'm clicking on login. Let me close this transaction. And now let's go to the fourth transaction, which is click fish. I'm clicking on OK. I'm clicking on fish. We have loaded the fourth transaction. And now let's come to the last transaction, which is click sign out with this we are completing our scripting and let me stop the transaction and let's stop recording so we have stopped the recording so here we could see that these are the other domains that have got recorded other than so we have got Octopuff. So this is the application that we have recorded. And other than this, we have got googleapis.com, we have got ecbsn.com, we have got google.com, paypal, optimizely.com. So these are the other URLs or other domains that have got recorded. So when we record the application, so these other extra URLs will get recorded. So how are we going to exclude this so before that let's go to the script and see so here we can see we have got a lot of lines and they were like 735 lines of script and out of this we could see we have got unwanted unwanted urls it has also got recorded so we have to exclude this so how are we going to exclude so here we can see lot of lots and lot of unwanted URLs are the excluding URLs are go, have got recorded we do not have and these actually confuse that uh, this will add response times to our scripts and to the transaction so how are we going to exclude this And on top of this, as I already told you in the beginning of this session that for, for example, like uh, whatever uh, the URLs that we have got here, something like the Google API or the double click. So these domains do not generally permit load testing or they block the traffic and this traffic can distort our measurements like whatever we have or whatever we observe as part of the load test. And these are not really required for our load testing. And in fact, these third parties or the third party URLs which are getting recorded from other domains. So it is recommended to exclude these requests from our load testing scope. As most likely we don't have control of any of these third party content providers and we won't be able to do anything even if the bottleneck is due to external server and our load test should focus solely on our application and these external URLs are not required for our performance or the load testing. So how to exclude them? So let's see that how to exclude it. So let's go back to record and here you will regenerate the script and I'm clicking on OK. So let's wait for a few more seconds to get this done and here let's exclude whatever URLs that we do not require and make sure they are not required for our script of our performance testing. So here we could see the included is only one which is our octopuff.com and the all other scripts are excluded so they are added here. and. So even if we now go back to the script, these transactions will be there. So to exclude it, we'll click the regenerate. So this is one of the special feature which we have with load runner. That is, we do not need to record the script one second from the beginning. So just click on regenerate, will regenerate all the scripts. So let's click the regenerate option to regenerate the scripts. And this step will include only the octopuff.com and all the other excluding URLs will not be generated during this time. So let's see how does this work. So I'm clicking on regenerate and I'm clicking on yes. So 
So let's now go back to this script and let's see. So here we can see so previously we had 700 plus lines and now we have only 147 line. And here for each transaction we could see the exact transactions which we wanted to have. So here for the click fish we have the click fish the category ID click fish has been recorded and for sign out we have the sign of transaction. So same way for sign in we have got login to the website we have got the username and password. And then for the second transaction click sign in we could see the sign form sign on form here and for enter the store we have got the URLs so this is how we exclude the unwanted URLs and this will be really helpful for you when you are creating a script and just remember the point that the unwanted URLs that we record other than the application is not going to be of any use so please make sure you remove those unwanted URLs by excluding them in the page home page screen that we after we get recorded and just regenerate the script so that the unwanted URLs will be taken away from the script so I think this video would have been very very useful to you please make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any other informative videos and we have a lot of videos coming in so please make sure you subscribe to our channel like comment your questions and feedbacks I make sure I will help you based on my availability I will try to help you as far as I can do and so until we meet you in another interesting video I'm signing off and this is me Yosan Shanmugam and Little Slaw bye bye Thank you.